Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at some of the coolest launchers that you can get for your Android device. Let's get started. Starting off we have EV Launcher. It's nothing fancy but actually very simple. You have a search bar at the top and app shortcuts at the bottom. Pull down to search and swipe up to access all your apps in alphabetical order. So everything is presented very neatly. If you hold down on the screen you can access the launcher settings where you can customize the home screen, dock, choose your icon pack, enable on red badges, add gestures and even hide apps. The launcher is great if you like to keep things simple. Next is a launcher for those who like to complicate things. It's called TY launcher and you basically get a command line interface. Here you type whatever you want, like if you want to access any app, you simply type the app's name and hit enter. You can also get other information like type date or time and you'll get the current date and time. But the feature I like best is that you can simply type SMS, then the contact's name, followed by the message and that message will actually be sent to the person. You can also toggle different things like flashlight, mobile data, Wi-Fi and airplane mode by simply typing them. You can also change certain launcher settings such as background color, text color, username and other information to be displayed. Overall it's one of the most unique launchers I've come across and I bet it will stop people from messing with your phone. Following that we have Smart Launcher which is all about different themes to completely change how your home screen looks like. Currently I've installed the Azure theme which adds a minimal cloth below the search bar and also transforms the icons to white line borders. Swiping to the right reveals all your apps grouped in different categories. Under preferences you can change the theme that is choose from installed themes or download new ones. You can change the quick start layout meaning the 5 apps on the home screen. You can also customize how the app drawer looks like by changing the fonts and icons. And the launcher also allows you to choose different animations for apps and drawer transitions. So support for both customization and themes makes this launcher great for everyone. After that is Linear Desktop which is not a launcher that you lose on a regular basis but it can be very helpful if you cast your phone to a monitor or TV. After you've connected a mouse and keyboard to your phone, it gets converted to a desktop. Clicking on shortcuts such as Facebook and YouTube opens the browser and the sites are loaded. You can still access all your apps by clicking on the app drawer icon. You can manage a few launcher preferences like enabling animations, changing the text size and even the wallpaper and even hiding the status bar. So it can be very helpful if you want to convert your smartphone to a desktop. Moving on we have ADW2. It looks like the pixel launcher but it has way more customization options. Swiping up reveals all the things that you can change. You can choose the theme and also the color scheme for the launcher. There are also various gestures to which you can assign different actions. Other settings include desktop configuration where you can change the transition, dock and even grid size. You can also configure the icon appearance where you can add icon effects. There are other settings regarding the app drawer and folders but one I like most is making and editing widgets. Here you can add text, images, colors and even certain extensions. This feature makes it stand out from all other launchers. Next we have Lens Launcher. This one is for those people who like quick access to all their apps. So all the apps are presented as miniature icons and you can swipe your finger over it to zoom in. The home screen has nothing else on it like widgets or a dock. Jumping into the settings menu you can change the icon size, distortion factor, animation time, hide apps and even choose the icon pack. The launcher has a nice concept and it's actually free to download. After that we have Nano Launcher which actually claims to be the lightest and smallest launcher on Android. On that main page you have a time widget and app shortcuts at the bottom. On the left you have a page that you can fill with widgets. On the right the page is divided to show you most used apps, nano tools and even quick toggles. Another swipe to the left and you have all your apps in alphabetical order. It also has a smart reminder that shows you how many times you've unlocked your phone, for how much time you've used it and also your top 10 most used apps. So the launch isn't filled with many uh, fancy customization options but it's lightweight making it run on any Android device. Finally we have AP15. This launcher is straightforward with all the app labels right on the home screen. The label size will be according to how frequently you use the app. You can change the color, the size, font and the wallpaper. So this launcher may not have a fancy design or support for themes 
but it does give you one very important thing and that is quick access to all your apps. 